I would love to uh, to do something uh, in New York with him. Um, you know, fighting in Las Vegas uh, at the T-Mobile Arena and opening that up, fighting here and breaking record uh, records uh, here in Dallas, uh, and then going to the mecca of boxing would be uh, would be uh, would be uh, I guess I think something that no other fighter has ever done. You know, fight in three different venues. Uh, three different states uh, uh, all in one year. So that would be something different and special. What kind of juice does a night like this give you as Canelo's, Canelo's promoter? I mean, it was like the guy that was pretty anonymous and 51,000 people came to this show. Well, it, it shows you that Canelo's the, he's the star. He's the, he's the attraction. He's the ticket seller. He's, uh, but most importantly, he's the, uh, the fighter that delivers uh, action-packed fights and that's why people love watching him fight. I mean there's no other fighter on the planet that can uh, uh, fill up a, you know, 51,000 seats. Uh, it's just, it just doesn't happen. Uh, Oscar, um, the, the so we're, we're, it, it gives me a lot of, uh, it just gives me a lot of hope that boxing is, is gonna, you know, the fight game is gonna get nice and healthy once again and uh, you know it's, uh, you know, that, that's what Canelo did, delivered uh, tonight was a great fight. And Liam Smith put up a hell of a fight, and uh, you know, and that's exactly what people want to see. Was Jerry uh, happy, Oscar? Was no, he was ecstatic. He was, he was, uh, he was telling me, he was telling his wife. Uh, he said, "Honey, uh, you know, it's like it's like going to Harvard with uh, hearing uh, Oscar and, and, and Hopkins uh, talk <laughs> about uh, the fight." Uh, and he was just, I mean, he was just uh, ecstatic. I mean, he was happy and. Uh, he can't wait for us to come back and uh, in the near future and uh, stage another fight. If you, you, and, you and Tom, I mean, what's what's next? I mean, in terms of your dialogue with him, you guys are obviously at odds about what the offers are and about the money. What's the next step between you guys? Well, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for an answer. Um, uh, come back with something, you know. Uh, I mean, in the meantime, Golovkin's calling Canelo a clown. In the meantime, Abel's. Uh, uh, saying that uh, uh, we're going to offer him two million dollars. Well, guess what? I mean, the offer is a very significant offer, um, um, uh, an eight-figure number, and plus pay-per-view upside. So, you know, uh, there's there should be no excuses whatsoever. Sign the contract, and we can make this fight happen. That was for tonight, and they and they walked away from that offer to fight tonight. I'm sorry. That was for tonight. The, that money that was being offered? No, uh, September. Next year. Oh, next year. Oscar, do you think it's a growing, a growing trend from Golovkin's team? Because Ward also revealed that he had emails proving that they offered Golovkin the fight and they didn't take it as well. Do you, do you think that this is a growing trend on, on their behalf? I mean... I, I don't know exactly what they're trying to do. Um, this is the way uh, of, of fooling the public. Mm -hmm. um, then I, I really don't know what they're trying to do. Um, we want the fight, sign the contract, and uh, and uh, we'll make the fight happen in September. Oscar, how do you feel? Thank you, Oscar. Appreciate it.